All right, this is a 2001 Mercedes C240. And um, I have the ESP light on. I've actually searched the internet and found a lot of stuff about it, but nothing to really pinpoint and actually resolve the issue. So um, I took it to a shop and um, they told me what the problem is. It's actually in the trunk of the car. It's the um, electronic stability program sensor, and um, it's actually called the YAW rate sensor. And I guess you could pronounce it raw, uh, your rate sensor. So um, I got the part, ordered it off uh, eBay, and I'm gonna show you exactly where it is. And um, I've actually removed the um, truck liner so I'm going to show you where this part is to actually install it all right so this is the trunk here and as you can see I took most of the stuff out already this is the stuff on the floor this is the plastic liner that actually goes um, that covers all the electronics parts actually back there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace the part. And um, I'm going to show it to you. This is the replacement one right here. That's what's actually called the uh, R8 sensor. I bought this off of eBay used. What I did, I just went ahead and I went to the Mercedes website. There's different models for um, uh, different Mercedes class. But from 2001, I think in 2005, there's um, kind of like the same stuff there. So if you go to the Mercedes website and um, any of the dealerships and actually you put in the year the car and in the model, it should actually pull up with a range of ones that actually will fit your vehicle. So, this one that I have here, it's in, um, the part number as you can see is 002-542-72-18091. So that's what I'm gonna put in this car here. And that should actually resolve the issue. So, let me go ahead and I gotta, 10 millimeter socket it's held on by two screws this piece alone is actually it costs around 900 something dollars that's what I was actually told to purchase one of these brand new I bought this off of eBay, I think around $50 or so. I got the nuts off. Now all I really need to do is just go ahead and unhook this little clip right here. I'm gonna lift it up. If you press down on this little clip, this clip right here, that should actually, I'm gonna try to put the camera, so. All right, here we go. So I just press this clip down. All right, take it out. 
take the other one and it only goes in one direction so it has a little tab at the top that's where it goes in push it in put it back in sitting now and I'm just gonna put the little nuts in that's one we still have the car running so two all right let's go ahead and go back in of course we still have the light on because we left the car running it shows one malfunction when I turn it off I'll pull out the key I started as you can see the ESP light is gone so the problem is actually resolved I'm gonna turn the key off and I'll just go back now and pretty much put all this stuff back in has two little tabs that you actually put on this sits in here so this other one here sits in there and then as you see the two holes there with the little tabs that actually go in push this down and these only go in one direction as you can actually see Once you put it in, it snaps in and it holds it in, and that's pretty much right there.